Dear students, let me discuss with you the concept of the support of a discrete random vector. And to do that, we begin with the concept of the support of a discrete random variable. Yani, pehle hum ek variable ki baat karte hain, fir uske baad hum ye uh, do variables jab ikatthe liye jayen, tab kya hoga? Wo hum kar lenge. So, in general, what is the support of a random variable? It is the set of values that the random variable can take. Yani, isi ko domain bhi kehte hain. Aapke univariate situation mein, aapka jo uh, agar continuous hai, for example, so small f of x is equal to something, aur uske baad aap likhte hain, for example, zero less than x less than infinity. So wo zero less than x less than infinity is the support of that uh, PDF. Or wo kya hota hai? Uska yehi matlab hota hai na ki wo jo x variable hai that can assume any value between zero and infinity, uh, but it cannot be negative. Because if it is negative, hota, then we have written what we have written Minus infinity less than x less than infinity. So you are well aware of this concept. Domain bhi kehte hain isko aur support loves b c ke liye. Ab iske baad, if we concentrate on the discrete random variable, then uh, we must note that it is the set, I mean that the support is the set of all the realizations of the variable x that have a strictly positive probability of being observed. Mera matlab ye hai ki wo zero probability agar hai, to phir wo to impossible event hai, to wo phir hume likhne ki zarurat nahi hai, agar us tarah se soche, to is tarah se iski ek rigorous definition jo banti hai, wo ye banti hai. Mera repeat karti hoon, for abhi aur yaad rakhye ga, I am still talking about the univariate situation. So for a discrete random variable, the support of that probability mass function for that random variable is the set of all the realizations of that variable x that have a strictly positive probability of being observed. Ab jab ye sari baatein clear ho gai, uske baad, of course, we can extend the, this idea to the case of a discrete random vector. So let me do it with the help of, a, of an example and a simple but interesting example and the case when we have two variables, x1 and x2. Suppose that a coin is tossed three times and our interest is in the ordered pair Number of heads on the first two tosses, comma, number of heads on all three tosses. So how do we proceed? Sabse pehle, we will uh, construct the sample space, which we may denote by capital C, of our experiment. Hum kya kar rahe hain? We are tossing a coin three times. So what are the various possibilities? Tail, 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 head, tail, head, tail, head, tail, 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 head, 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 tail, head, 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 tail, and last but not the least, head, head, and head. Ab jab ye sample space humare paas aagai, this is the set of all possible outcomes. Iske lawa aur kuch possible nahi hai if you are tossing uh, a coin three times. Ab iske baad, we are able to define our variables x1 and x2. So let x1 denote the number of heads on the first two tosses and x2 denote the number of heads on all three tosses. So now let us uh, look at it very carefully. Abhi jo mene sare aapke saamne possible outcomes rakhe, unke tehet dekhe ke x1 or x2 ki values kya hai. It is in front of you now on the screen, and you can see that x1 
for the outcome t t t tail 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 is equal to zero obviously because there is no head in the first two tosses and x2 for the outcome tail 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 is also equal to zero because there is no head in all three tosses isi tarah aap baaki sare dekh lijiye every single one of them is in front of you i will take up one more let us look at the just the second outcome that is tail tail head isme x1 for this outcome is equal to 0 kyunki jo pehle do toss hain uske andar head nahi hai but x2 for this particular outcome is equal to 1 because tail tail head to wo teen ikatthe agar dekhein so there is one head so therefore now we can write the ordered pairs hamara ye jo random vector hai it's a discrete random vector because only these numbers which you just saw 0 1 etc yahi possible hai na to continuous to nahi hai na jiske andar decimal aur wo sab kuch and we are actually counting we are counting the number of heads so count to discrete variable hota hai na count variable so what are the probabilities for the various values of the ordered pairs the probability of x1 x2 being equal to 0 0 is 1 by 8 isliye ke 8 jo humne abhi hamare samne aaye unme se sirf ek hai 0 0 iske baad isi tarah the probability of x1 x2 being equal to 0 1 is 1 by 8 but the probability of x1 x2 being equal to 1 1 is 2 by 8 वो दो दफा आकर कर रहा है तो प्रोबेबिलिटी जब निकालेंगे तो वो टू बाई एट हो जाएगी इसी तरह वन टू के लिए भी टू बाई एट और टू टू के लिए और टू थ्री के लिए वन बाई एट वन बाई एट वेन यू एड दम स्टूडेंट्स यू गेट एट बाई एट एंड दैट इज इक्वल टू वन एंड दैट फुलफिल्स द बेसिक प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ बाई वेरिएट प्रोबिलिटी मैथ फंक्शन दैट द सम हैज टू बी वन और जो पहली प्रॉपर्टी थी वो क्या थी कि जी ऑल दोज प्रोबिलिटीज विल बी बिटवीन जीरो एंड वन तो जाहिर है कि वन बाई एट या टू बाई एट ये जो हैं दे आर ऑल बिटवीन जीरो एंड वन बात हो रही थी कि वॉट इज द सपोर्ट ऑफ दिस रैंडम वैक्टर वेल स्टूडेंट्स इफ यू एक्सप्रेस दिस सिचुएशन इन टेबल फॉर्म it is quite simple easy to understand what is the support for the random variable x1 and what is the support for the random variable x2 so that we can get get and talk about the combined support as well ye jo table hai aapke samne this is exactly this is giving you everything exactly abhi jo kuch maine aapse kaha tha ke probability of the ordered pair 0 0 is 1 by 8 तो वो आप देखिए इस टेबल के अंदर जो पहला सेल है जिसमें x1 भी जीरो और x2 भी जीरो है उसी जगह पे वो है सो दैट इज वन बाई एट तो उसको आप खुद ही फिल करेंगे जस्ट यूजिंग अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ कॉमन सेंस यू कैन राइट द वेरियस वैल्यूज ऑफ x1 वन विच आर ऑब्वियसली इन दी ऑर्डर्ड पेयर्स दे आर दोज नंबर विच आर प्रायर टू द कॉमा साइन और जो x2 है वो भी आप खुद ही लिखेंगे जो कि ऑर्डर पेयर वर्जन में दे आर द नंबर विच आर आफ्टर द कॉमा वंस यू हैव रिटन दोज देन यू कैन फिल द टेबल अब टेबल में ये देखें कि फॉर एग्जांपल जहां x1 की वैल्यू जीरो है और x2 की वैल्यू टू है वहां सेल के अंदर हमने लिखा है जीरो बिकॉज देर इज नो प्रॉबिलिटी इट्स नॉट पॉसिबल to have x1 equal to 0 and x2 equal to 2 dekhen thode si uski jo physical situation hai usko bhi dekh le agar pehle do tosses ke andar aapko zero head aa gaye hain to kya ye possible hai ke teen tosses ke andar aapke paas do heads aa jaye 
all right, I'm sure you can work this out. And you can see that in this way, a number of probabilities are zero. Support kya hai? The numbers that you have in the first column or in the top row. Yani unki combination jo hai. That is the support. 0, 1, 2 for x1 and 0, 1, 2, 3 for x2. 